Hey guys, this video today is going to be on the tack strip gully or the distance that tack strip should be installed away from the surface you're going to be tucking or finishing off your carpet to. For this example, we're going to be using a residential application on a wood floor, tucking to both a baseboard that is installed on the floor and baseboard that is raised. So the tack strip gully is going to be the space between the edge, front edge of the tack strip and the surface that we're tucking to. In this case, against a piece of baseboard that is directly installed onto the floor. The closer I get, the tighter the gully gets. The reason that this is important is that not all carpets are the same thickness. So your carpet or your material that you're using is going to determine what size this gully should be. Here's a couple examples of why the gully spacing is important. The gully spacing is what's going to hold the edge of the trimmed carpet. After we've power stretched it, we've cut it, we tuck the carpet then into the gully, and that gully will hold the carpet in place, keep it from coming out with a, uh, a vacuum uh, or anything like that. As you can see, I've got two different types of carpet here. They're both residential carpets, cut pile. We've got a pretty thick piece here. This one's much, much smaller. Obviously, our, our uh, tack strip gully cannot be the same for both of these two carpets. With the baseboard installed directly to the floor, we need to make sure that our tack strip gully is just about perfect for the material that we're going to be finishing off. When the baseboard is installed off the floor or with a gap between the uh, bottom of the baseboard and the floor, we have a little more wiggle room when it comes to our tack strip gully. If we're off either a little bit too far or a little bit too close, we can still end up okay depending on the type of carpet that we're installing because we now have this, this open gap underneath here to where if we cut the carpet, if the carpet's a little bit thicker, we, uh, we can still find room for it underneath there. So with raised base, it's better to have the tack strip uh, on the a little bit closer side than the, uh, the wider side. Um, you don't want to end up with the tack strip way out here, especially when the baseboard is off of the floor. Here's some examples here of what can happen if the gully spacing is off. This is the padding. This is representing the tack strip. This is our baseboard, assuming it's on the floor. By not allowing a large enough gully for the carpet, as the carpet comes off of there, there's no place for that carpet to tuck, giving more of a flat look at the edge of the baseboard. On the other hand, if we have the tack strip too far away from the wall, there's nothing to pinch that carpet and hold it in place. So a vacuum could easily pull this carpet up uh, after the installation is complete. Not a good idea. This here is a scenario where we've created a gully spacing or tack strip away from this baseboard that's in line with the thickness of the material that we're using. By having a proper gully spacing, we can ensure that the trimmed edge of carpet is locked in place and will not come out when the customer vacuums. So to recap that, uh, we've described what a gully is. Uh, we've also talked about how materials come in different thicknesses and will determine the correct size that the gully should be. Um, finally, it's a good idea to encourage installers uh, in the morning during loadout to see how thick the carpet is or the material that they're going to be working with so that when they arrive at the customer's home, remove the existing carpet. In the case of a redo, they're able to inspect the existing tack strip and see if it can be used uh, at its current location or if it's going to need to be uh, changed. Thanks for watching.